Right now, Kansas veterinarians are backlogged. And before we sent our Dan Garrett out to cover flooded houses, he found out why you might have a longer wait time right now if your pet needs to see the vet. I adopted Pepper before the pandemic, but the coronavirus pet boom is leaving Kansas vets burned out. That we at least had a 25% increase um, in what our daily volume is, and some days maybe even more than that. More adoptions during the pandemic, leaving clinics flooded with new pets. A lot of people were home, so they just thought now is a good time to get a puppy, to house train them, and do that kind of thing. Also, I think, you know, a lot of people are home, and so they're seeing things that they may not normally see. Some clinics have stopped adding clients for the first time in years. One Kansas veterinarian says in her 26 years as a vet, she has never seen a surge like this. It's been exhausting for the technicians, the receptionists, um, and also the doctors, you know, just because of the volume that we're, we're seeing. We're busy to the point where it is very stressful because there are only so many veterinarians. Forcing pet owners seeking care for basic visits to wait. We'd be happy to get you scheduled. It'll be about 10 days from now. Although busy, Dr. Christy Rafferty says they do their best to keep some slots open for emergencies. They've got to be seen. We need to help them. But sometimes that means, most of the time, that means some very, very long hours for us. So the next time you need to see a vet, be as patient as you can. In Topeka, covering local news that matters, Dan Garrett, KSNT News. All the things that you wouldn't imagine are, I know. are and being backed up. And it really is crazy. I know when one of our cats came down with ringworm earlier oh, this wow. year, we just sent a couple pictures and they wrote yeah. a prescription and that was it. I yeah. mean, it just, it really is kind of crazy what, yeah. what this pandemic has done.